Boker Tov, good morning. Continue with our three-minute daily dose of Torah. Looking at the the uh, cause of the death of Nadav and Avihu, we looked at a few different approaches the other day. Here I want to share with you the Ramban. The Ramban focuses on uh, their sin relating to the way that Ketorah is meant to be brought, the incense, and their failure to do so. Um, he says, Kfar Pirashi, Zehachet <laughs> Nadav Avihu, Enu, <coughs> the specific point that the Torah goes out of its way, he says, and the Torah describes they brought before God a strange fire. Not that it says that they were that they brought incense which they weren't commanded to bring. Um the issue is how they brought the Ketorot. Samu Ketorot al Haesh, they put the Ketorot on top of the fire. And um, that's not how this is meant to be done. And so that's, so he says, it had to do with a, a miss, um, a, a failure to, to follow the ritual properly. Which you say, that's pretty extreme. It's pretty extreme that God should do that. But uh, part of the answer is that this is the first day. Uh, that that the, sa- the sacrificial service is now happening officially, and there needs to be, you know, I guess God's int- intention seemed to be that, folks, this isn't a game. These things matter. Why they matter? How they matter? That's not for us to really understand. But I gave you the rituals. Don't play around, and there can be consequences. In this case, very serious consequences. Right. Um, so that has to do with the, uh, the it all relates to the nature of the Ketorah, which I'm not going to get further into. The Rashbam here says a little differently. He basically says that today was critical that uh, what happens here is a heavenly fire. Says the, Ram, says the Rashbam. Before the fire went forth from before God, they had already um, each taken their censers to bring the ketorot and the and, and, um, and the inner in the, in the inner altar, um, and they put ash and they put ash they put fire strange fire in them which God had not commanded. Even though for the other day for all, all other days that would be the case. You the the Aaron HaKohen would put fire on that inner altar, Hayom, today, Lo Tziva. Today he did not give that command. And today, it was Moshe's desire, and Hashem's desire, that this should not be a fire that a human being brought. They were all waiting, the heavenly fire to come down, because that's the sign they're looking for. God has comes down through the fire and shows that He has He has, He wants His people again. Today is not a good thing for it to bring a strange fire, something from people. The whole goal was that God's name would be sanctified. To let you know that fire will come from heaven. So um, that's a different angle than the Ramban, but they both suggest that. Um, that, that, that has to do specifically with the actions they're taking in with around this Ketoret. From the Ramban, it has to do with um, which you put in first. If I understood the Ramban correctly. And the Rashbam says, no, it has to do with putting in fire altogether. Today was meant to be a day when God's fire would come down and they destroyed the possibility of the sanctification of God's name. Hope this is food for thought. Wishing you all a great day.